Yeah. What's poppin' YouTube? It's Kings out with another Just Different video for my Just Different people. I am still doing a giveaway. So if you looking to get in the giveaway, go do the things that you're supposed to do to get in the giveaway. You're going to go to the, to the giveaway video. You're going to like the video. You're going to subscribe to the channel. You're going to comment a video topic, your favorite Just Different video topic or a video topic that you would like to see me speak on and now you enter your name in the raffle and we giving away five pieces of just different gear so go tap in go tap in go tap in let's get into the video when you feel alone what do you do when you feel alone what do you do when you feel alone nobody really ever talk about this or at least they didn't me i don't know nigga been feeling alone all his life that's why i'm like oh this is a good video topic because i found different ways to cope with it some probably not healthy you know what i'm saying some probably are <laughs> it's just polarity the way life works so what do you do when you feel alone? And I got different things that I wrote down because of my spirit. I really didn't know where I wanted to go with this because there's so many different lanes and you know what I'm saying, avenues you can take for when you feel alone. This is what I feel like is, is the best, but I I don't want you really to listen to my videos to do things in order. Take what applies to you. You know what I'm saying? Take what applies to you. If you don't connect with what I'm saying, go to the next point and maybe you'll understand what I'm talking about. The first thing that I would tell you to do if you are feeling alone, you're feeling abandoned, you're feeling like nobody care about you, whatever, connect with your inner child. Connect with your inner child. Have a conversation with your inner child. Give your inner child a hug. Like, literally, give your inner child some love. So I want to explain this before. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not just saying it just to say that. Understand that the feelings that you are feeling... That is not your that's not your adult thinking. That's not the that's not the thinking that you are in right now. You know what I'm saying? That's that's from something from your childhood where you felt abandoned, you felt alone when you we all was in, we all went to school, you know what I'm saying? We all got the mindset of like, man, you want to be the coolest kid at recess, you know what I'm saying? You want to have friends at lunch, you know what I'm saying? You want that you want to be good at games and gym or whatever. It's you know what I'm saying? We all got the same kind of way of thinking. Like every Humans are social creatures. We all want to be accepted. Different things happen in our lives that make us feel detached from our community. It makes us feel like we are abandoned. It makes us feel alone. This could be issues with your family. This could be issues with just your friends. Or it could be both. What I'm saying is that as soon as you realize that you are in a moment where you feel like you are abandoned, you feel that you are alone, you feel like nobody loves you, nobody care about you, understand that that is pain from your childhood and not pain from right here right now there is not pain from right here right now that is pain from your childhood and you are projecting it onto this moment right now in time so whenever you start feeling alone whenever you start feeling abandoned go sit down to yourself alone i mean you already alone right go sit down and take note of the thoughts that you are thinking take note of how you are feeling and then counteract that by having a positive uh talk with your with your lower self with your child you know what i'm saying with your inner child having a giving yourself a hug literally because you gotta know that that's just the inner child throwing attention that's the inner child crying out for help and if you ignore it, the louder the crying is gonna be. If you if you seen a child crying, if you seen a baby crying, and you just walk past the baby like you ain't see the baby crying, the baby not gonna shut up. The baby gonna get louder. Keep crying, keep crying. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's happening to the inner child that is within you. The little boy, that little girl that's in you that wanted to be accepted by everybody, don't feel accepted. And unless you accept him or her. But nobody else can accept him or her so you need to have that deep heart to heart talk with your inner child like look i love you you know what i'm saying we good we okay that's some outside shit we're not gonna let outside shit affect us internally and i know it probably sound a little crazy bro but if you ever been in them moments where your inner child is crying like out loudly and you can't turn it off you, you know what i'm saying you just stuck feeling that pain that sorrow from when you was a child you know that it's necessary and it's needed to to calm that, you know what I'm saying, to calm that part of you down where it's like, yeah, I'm crying out for help right now. Like, literally crying out for help because this can make you go search out for that in other people. And you have to be able to do it for yourself so that you can ever be loved wholly by somebody else, whole, like completely by somebody else. 
connect with your inner child. Second thing is, what are what what does your day to day life look like right now? Right? Are you what do you what are you running from? Are you running from pain? Are you running from your responsibilities? Are you running from chasing your actual goals? Because some people have goals that are too big, and then they goals them to start chasing them. So now they just they just doing everything they can to distract themselves from the true mission that they have. Like. Some people feel like the, the, the mountains that they have put in front of themselves are too big to climb. And so they, they'll start depending on other people, you know what I'm saying? Distracting themselves with other people, just want to be around other people because they make them not think about the, the, like the, the hard part of life. What are you running from? And then you'll see that the universe puts you in that situation where you're feeling alone right now, where you're feeling like nobody got you, you know what I'm saying? You want, you're the only one that got you. You're the only one to love yourself. You know what I'm saying? All these things. The universe puts you in that situation so that you could grow to love yourself completely so that other people could love you. Nobody can love you in this hurt state that you're in, this alone state that you're in, that you swear that nobody else care about you and you need to, you know what I'm saying, find other people to love you. And You know what I'm saying? It's not going to work like that. That's just not how it works. You got to love yourself first. Um, and da, 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 da. Feelings are a sign from the universe. So when you feel alone, when you feel any kind of pain, any discomfort, that's all just a catalyst for growth. That's all pushing you towards your higher self, the person that you truly came here to be. That pain and that sorrow that you're feeling, it is all just a part of the recipe to create the greatness that's inside of you. So when you feel alone, don't go looking for other people. Don't go searching for other people to fill that hole, to fill that void, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to fill itself if you just be patient. Because all all feelings are temporary. Nothing really lasts forever. You could be sad right now. You're not going to be sad next year. <laughs> like, that's just what it is. You could be happy right now. You're not most likely going to be happy right uh, next year. Every, every feeling comes and goes. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is permanent, especially internally. So when you feel this wave of sadness, you feel this wave of, of feeling alone. You know what I'm saying? Feeling of just sorrow, despair, whatever understand that that is a message from the universe that you damn near not on the right path right now rocking with the people that you're trying to rock with and you need to go be alone for a little moment so that the universe can cook up what's inside of you and you know what i'm saying serve it <laughs> so you can be great you can't be great hiding behind other people's shadows you can't be great hiding behind other people's shadows it's reality um Focus on your goals and your priori and your priorities. When you feel alone, when you feel it's because you looking at everybody else and you trying to live their life, you trying to walk their journey, walk their path. The path, the path that you walk has to be taken alone. You might have other people come and join you for a moment on the path. You know what I'm saying? Might come help you out for a little minute, give you a pat on the back when you need it. You know what I'm saying? Rub your feet when they sore while you walking and shit. But that is not how the journey is gonna be all the time it's gonna be a lot of moments on the journey on the path where you all alone and you gotta you gotta tend to your own wounds you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta fucking you gotta deal with it all by yourself and that's gonna make you stronger that's gonna make it so you can help other people deal with they shit the battles that you the, that you're dealing with right now it's for you to win by yourself you can win them alone you don't need nobody else help you don't need it you want it It'll help, you know what I'm saying? It'll feel good, like, yeah, I got some extra help, you know what I'm saying? I got backup, but you your own backup. Once you your own backup, then you realize everybody else that really come to you is a, is a true resource. They not a crutch. You don't want to use people as crutches, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be nobody else's crutch. You want to be able to, to love yourself wholly and take care of yourself wholly, and the people that you have in your life, you want them to be the same so that when y'all actually do need each other, it's a, like, it's a true necessity. It's not just a, like, you're just using me. You dig what I'm saying? Like, um, and create something. That's the last thing I got for you. When you alone, when you feel alone, you feel to create. That's your soul looking to to express itself. That's what I believe. This is this is belief. That's your, that's your soul looking to create something. All the greatest things that have ever been created usually are like people make them alone. People make them by themselves. It's like and then other people come on later on to add on to the creation. Like, but true ideas of creativity, true growth, true expression usually comes from the soul's desire to be um, 
from the soul's desire to express. So when you feel alone, you feel like nobody care about you, nobody love you, or whatever. I feel it. Sit down and write something. Sit down and draw something. You know what I'm saying? Sit down and do something creative. Whatever your creative avenue that may be, I feel like you should be tapping into that and, and putting it on full display. So that's that's the list I got for y'all today to work on for when you when you feel alone, you feel like nobody rocking with you. These are things that I feel like are gonna keep you. You know what I'm saying? On the up and up because it's all an illusion. So when you feel it fucked up, connect with your inner child. Tell your inner self, like, I love you, bro. You good. Like, we're not alone. That's just what it looked like right now. And we could call, we could call, we could make calls. Think about it. You could you can make calls to all the people that you swear you love, you know what I'm saying? That you swear that, that abandoned you, that you swear ain't rocking with you, call them. And they'll talk to you. They gonna tell you, yeah, I just been busy, bro. Like, just dealing with life. Like, I, it ain't nothing against you. Connect your inner child. Let them know. Because you gotta think about how, how a child thinks. Uh, your the a six or seven year old don't understand that when mom and dad is going to work, they going to work to pay the bills. They 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 mind processes it. Your, their mind processes it is that their mom or their dad is just leaving them. You dig what I'm saying? And that's what your inner child is doing right now. Your inner child is crying and complaining because it feel like everybody and everything has abandoned him or her. Let your inner child know that that's not the truth. Break it down to him or her in layman terms so they they can understand. Um, what are you running from? Two, uh, like it's number two. <laughs> what are you running from? Look at the things that you feel like you're running from that's trying to keep you from being your greatest self. Like your pain. Stop running from your pain and just embrace it. You know what I'm saying? Stop running from the feeling of being alone and embrace it, and you'll see that you ain't never really been alone. Um, your feelings are a sign from the universe, so take heed to what they are. You know what I'm saying? Write them down. Journal about it. Figure it out. Uh, get it outside of you. Stop trying to figure everything out internally. Uh, focus on your goals and your priorities when you're feeling alone. And you'll see that, like, it's because you have too much shit to worry about to focus on to be trying to have friends and hang out and chill and all that shit. You shouldn't be chilling right now. You got work to do. Um, create something. They go back to the last point, but, I mean, I feel like it's kind of different because I want you to create um I want you to create something that make you feel free, right? Something that makes you feel like your truest, you know what I'm saying, your greatest self. Um, but that's all I got for you today, brothers and sisters. I love you all, kings and queens, gods and goddesses. You know what I'm saying? Stay up, don't fall down. If you do, get back up. Hey.